So what we're going to talk about today are the five mistakes that people make when they build a General Lee. Five mistakes. What's the number one mistake? Simple. Interior color. I don't know why, but a lot of times people will have General Lees that have black interior. We never had a General Lee that had black interior once it was painted orange. Okay, when we first got the General Lee, I honestly don't remember. When we first got the General Lee, when we showed you in Happy Birthday General Lee, I don't remember what color the interior was on that black car. It may have been black, but it was never ever black once the car was orange. Now mine's a little different. This is a very special one. It's got these fancy pedals. This, by the way, in my car is a brake pedal for the rear wheels only. And I like, I like all of this because this makes it so my foot doesn't slip off when I'm either on the gas, on the brake, or on the rear brake. For you youngsters and you don't know what this is, this is how you turn your high beams on and off. Click, 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 click. That's the number one mistake people make. Number two, the second biggest mistake people make when they make a General Lee is they think there's only one way to do it. No. Now, yes, we never had the black interior. However, there are so many variations on the General Lees we made here. I'm going to show you a couple of them right now. General Lee does not have a roll bar in it because I take a lot of people out for rides in my General Lee and having the roll bar here is just kind of a pain in the butt. So I chose not to have it in there. If I wanted it to be more accurate, then I would put a roll bar in. Now, sometimes we actually had a piece of a roll bar right here that was hanging from a wire in the ceiling, just so that you'd see the roll bar as we went by. But you will, if you watch Dukes of Hazard, you will catch us sometimes where we have no roll bar. This body line went away in many of our general leaves because there was so much Bondo here. Same thing with the body with it, as it carried all the way to the back. That line disappeared a lot. Now, many times in the show, you'll see that this marker light is not here. That means it was a 68. Sometimes you'll see the round marker lights, but I think uh, it's very rare that they made that mistake and left it that way. There's another body line on the top here. This was the number one place for rust on a General Lee, right here behind the tires. And that'd be Fred the cat. Hey, Fred. You'd notice this would go away. We had a piece of stainless here on some of the cars, but on many of them, we didn't. Personally, I like it without the stainless because I like this line to be uninterrupted. Now, many times in the older cars, especially ours, because we didn't do much body work on ours, just we just wanted to make sure they would run and be able to jump another day. There's a seam right here that Chrysler never bothered to really cover up because every single one of these cars, every one of them had a vinyl top. They were two-toned. It was usually black here and then green or white or yellow or whatever color they had down here. Um, but they didn't bother to, to do any body work or put any filler here because no one would ever see it because this was covered up. That's why water will get caught in here and it will rust out eventually. Here's a mistake people make when they make their General Lees. This window needs to be convex, goes out. The first couple of General Lees I did, I didn't realize that, and it seems to me like they should have been put in concave. If they go in concave, they will, will, will absolutely leak like a sieve. So convex. Now my flag is hand painted on, and yes, it's Bose General Lee. Bo's General Lee. But this is hand painted. Many times in Dukes of Hazard, this right here was actually medical tape, white cloth medical tape that was put on here to simulate the flag. Now, some people are saying they see pictures of the General Lee without the windshield wipers. Well, many times we didn't have the windshield wipers on. Because when they jumped the car, not all the time, but a lot of the time, this was actually a piece of plexiglass. They took the uh, windshield out and put plexiglass in there so that the stuntman would not be in danger of having any glass breaking and, and flying into his face. Yes, I have air conditioning in my General Lee and it works. This is not the correct steering wheel. 
but that's okay. I like this. It's my General Lee. It's my choice, and that does not make it any less a General Lee, in my opinion. Mine has white letters on the tires just because I like it. We never had white letters on the tires on Dukes. Now, another thing. We also had two different size push bars. In the very beginning of the show, the first five episodes of the show, we had a little tiny push bar there. Then we moved, we graduated to the bigger one. Why? Because we actually used it. We started doing things where we were bumping into people. And when cars would get stuck, if Uncle Jesse's car would get stuck, or the Cadillac, Boss Hog's Cadillac, or even Daisy's Jeep, guess what vehicle came to the rescue to push him out? The General Lee, of course. Frequent General Lee mistake number three. Now this one here, of course, is when uh, people use the 68 and they have a rear view mirror on the passenger side. We never had a rear view mirror on the passenger side. Now a 69 Charger has a rear view mirror only on one side. Sometimes I'll see General Lees with rear view mirrors on the right side or passenger side as well. And that means it's a 68. The bottom stainless. Now this one does not have the bottom stainless. Very few actually had the bottom stainless because there's a lot of Bondo down there in most of the General Lees and it's hard to keep the stainless on. This body line goes away in many of our general... This body line went away in many of our general leaves because there was so much Bondo here. Same thing with the body, with it, as it carried all the way. To the back. That line disappeared a lot. Now, many times in the show, you'll see that this marker light is not here. That means it was a 68. Sometimes you'll see the round marker lights, but I think uh, it's very rare that they made that mistake and left it that way. There's another body line on the top here that has a tendency to go away when you add more Bondo. Yeah, that's my reflection. <laughs> this was the number one place for rust on a General Lee, right here behind the tires. And that'd be Fred the cat. Hey, Fred, walk on through, buddy. Come on. Walk on through. Thank you. Now, many times, you'd notice this would go away. We had a piece of stainless here on some of the cars, but on many of them, we didn't. Personally, I like it with the stain, or personally, I like it without the stainless because I like this line to be uninterrupted. Now, many times in the older cars, especially ours, because we didn't do much body work on ours, just we just wanted to make sure they would run and be able to jump another day. There's a seam right here that Chrysler never bothered to really cover up because every single one of these cars, every one of them, had a vinyl top. They were, um, they were two-toned. It was usually black here and then green or white or yellow or whatever color they had down here. Um, but they didn't bother to, to do any body work or put any filler here because no one would ever see it because this was covered up. That's why water will get caught in here and it will rust out eventually. Here's a mistake people make when they make their General Lees. This window needs to be convex, goes out. The first couple of General Lees I did, I didn't realize that, and it seems to me like they should have been put in concave. If they go in concave, they will, will, will absolutely leak like a sieve. So convex. Now my flag is hand-painted on, and yes, it's Bo's General Lee. Bo's General Lee. But this is hand-painted. Many times in Dukes of Hazard. This right here was actually medical tape, white cloth medical tape that was put on here to simulate the flag. Now, some people are saying they see pictures of the General Lee without the windshield wipers. Well, many times we didn't have the windshield wipers on because when they jumped the car, not all the time, but a lot of the time, this was actually a piece of plexiglass. They took the uh, windshield out and put plexiglass in there so that the stuntman would not be in danger of having any glass breaking 
and, and flying into his face. What is up? Come on. I look like I'm, I look, you know, I look like I'm going fast. <laughs> okay, here's a mistake people make. Frequent General Lee mistake number four. Many, many times I've seen General Lee's where this is still painted orange. Bad. This has got to be black and it's got to be flat black. Sometimes I see people where this is painted glossy black. Also bad. Does not look right. This was done. Remember, this car was designed in 67 and 68. So we had not been to the moon yet. Many of the cars that had this sort of stuff going on in the back, my understanding is that that was done to simulate a rocket exhaust. So it, so, which it does, it's great. When you don't have this painted and you don't have it flat black, it just looks wrong to me and it is wrong. However, somebody is saying, oh, I remember I saw General Lee that had, uh, that that was painted orange. Yes, you did. It was a mistake. It was in Hazard Goes to Hollywood or Hazard and whatever the first reunion movie was. Hazard in Hollywood um, or Hazard Goes to, I don't remember the name of it, but it was in that and it was in the race at the very beginning. Uh, one of the first shots we did when we filmed that, uh, that uh, TV movie was the beginning of the race. And we had to go back and grab uh, cases of moonshine and throw the moonshine in the trunk, jump in the car and drive off. Tom and I both were looking at the General Lee and saying, something's not right. Something's wrong with this car. And what had happened, this is crazy. What had happened was the producers who had been so far removed from Dukes, they hadn't done Dukes in, in a number of years. They looked at a die cast model there is a die cast model. It's the little one, the 124th, I believe, that has that orange in the back. And that's how they designed the General Lee. You'll also notice in that shot, the numbers are too small. The 01 is too small on the doors. That's because that was all the research they did. They looked at a die cast car and then they painted the General Lee. So we went to the transportation captain and said, this is wrong. This should be flat black. And the guy said, you're right. The next, he, he went and got a can of black spray paint, some duct tape, and it's duct, by the way. It's not duct tape. You don't tape a duck with it, okay? And he fixed it. And from the rest, of, from that shot on, the General Lee was fixed. However, that is not the first shot you see in the movie. So you will see in that movie that the back is black, flat black as it should be, and then all of a sudden, for no reason at all, it's orange, and then it goes back to black. That's why. Now you know. Okay, number five. The 68s did not have fuel here. So many times you'll see a General Lee that has just a blank, shiny piece here. If it's a 69, if it's a General Lee, it should say fuel on it. Now, of course, we had some that didn't because we did use 68s. I've had people say that we also use 70s on the show. And I gotta be honest with you, I do not remember ever, 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 ever using a 1970 Charger for a General Lee. Why? Well, it's simple. 70 Chargers had that big front piece of stainless on it. So this was not part of the hood on a 70. This was not part of the body line on a 70. And I'm here to tell you that changing that hood and changing that, adding that line to a 68 with Bondo was just too much work for any, any of us to do. There wasn't any time. There was no time for the transportation department to do the work that was required to make a 70 front end look like a 69. They just wouldn't have done it. There'd be no reason in the world. Okay, I'm gonna give you a bonus. The number one question I've gotten through all of your questions on Facebook and on YouTube is, what happened to the crossed flags on the back of the General Lee? Well, that's simple. As I've already told you, we had 280 cars, at least a minimum of 280 cars. That sticker was exactly that. It was a sticker. You can see it when the young man is squirting orange drink in the window and I say, what are you doing, son? He says, squirting flies. You can see it clear as day right back here. Also, you'll notice I do not have the CB antenna here. 
I have ordered it and I'm going to get it, but I don't have it here. I also cover this car a lot and it's kind of a pain in the butt to keep taking that on and off. And they make them that are magnetic and I don't want to scratch this paint. I had a magnetic one on my, my uh, 511 Hemi car and it scratched the paint all up. I don't want to do that. So the stars, the crossed flags here, American flag, rebel flag, where did that go? How come it wasn't on all of the other cars? It was impossible to replicate. So once the producers found out that the show was going to be a hit, they had to make sure that this car was easily duplicated time after time after time because they realized they needed every one they could get their hands on. Now the flag was easy to do. You could do that. They had, uh, the values A's had their kids cutting out stars, stars out of construction paper and gluing them to the top of the car. They could paint the blue with spray paint. They could paint the red with spray paint. And as I told you, the white was usually either medical tape or just tape. So they would do that. Um, but that was a very complicated decal, the cross flags. So there was no way that they were going to be able to duplicate that over and over and over again. Now today, they could just have a sticker made and put it on there, but that added a little bit of time. And when they were turning these cars around, we needed to have cars every day. They had 13 General Lees ready to go at any time on any day. So it just wasn't practical to keep up with that particular sticker. I miss it, I thought it was great. I'd like to get one for mine and maybe I will in the future. All right, I'm gonna be here again. Check it out next week. I'm gonna answer questions that you have. If you have any questions about Smallville or the haves and have nots, go ahead and ask me. I'm happy to answer them. Unless you're asking what's happening in the haves and have nots come January, then I can't answer that. All right, you guys take care. I'm John Schneider. I'm gonna cover up my car again. Oh yeah, you ready for this? Watch this. <laughs> that, that's just, that's great. All right, remember, if you like this, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's free. Thank you for watching Christmas Cars. Christmas Cars is going great. Uh, Redneck Rebel is going great. I appreciate your support of everything we're doing out here. I'm gone.